सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द सीरीज ऑफ एस क्यू एल आई डेटा बेस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द एप लाइक विच वी हैव इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन दिस इंटायर सीरीज सो दिस इज द ओवरऑल डेमो ऑफ दिस एप सो दिस इज माई फ्रंट पेज विच इज द होम पेज एंड देन वी हैव टू मेनो होम एंड स्टूडेंट्स सो एज वेन एवर क्लिक आई क्लिक ऑन द स्टूडेंट्स इट विल गिव मी द ऑल द लिस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट प्रेजेंट इन माई डेटा बेस so these are the database uh, these are the student which are present in my students database so i can add the student so let me add abc student classes 10th and mark of 10 as 120 so uh, student detail, uh, details has been added successfully now you can update also so as you click it will uh, go on the first page like a uh, individual page of the student so i am going to change the student name so i will say amar and mark as 550 and uh, click on the update student so details updated successfully and we are getting the amar as updated now let me delete the parish so as i, I will click on the parish it will give me the individual student page and uh, just click on the icon and the parish got deleted successfully from the database so in this video we have seen all the crud operation so where we can add the student and we can show the student uh, list and uh, we can delete the student data uh, we can delete the student data and we can update the student data so how to do that so we'll see in this video uh, like uh, overall app overview but uh, as uh, if we missed any command so you need to go through the playlist link also as well if you have any like if you want to see the all the commands and all so in this video we will see some basic thing so like uh, we need to run this command to start the project as a side menu and then uh, cd say sql lite go inside that directory and then create a service which is a database service which in that way will define all the database related functionality and then uh, we need to create a pages like uh, we need to create a page in that uh, we want a students which will show me the all the list of the student and this is for the individual student so just create the student page and then we need to install the and uh, ionic native library for sql lite and sql lite porter and then uh, we need to add the cordova plugin uh, for sql lite storage and this plugin as well also uh, plugin sql lite porter then after that uh, this is my database command which uh, we need to add so we need to create a direct uh, one file inside the asset folder and in that we need to pass our script which uh, like uh, on which name we need to create a table and uh, we need to pass this data in that okay so after doing this much uh, just uh, go inside the database service dot ts file so in that we need to define uh, we need to define all the database related functionality so you know to import all these packages which we required so the important one is the http client and then sql lite porter sql lite object uh, these all are the important uh, everything is important here also so but uh, before doing this uh, let me show you the app module.ts file where we have imported all the packages so as you can see sql lite porter sql lite and http client module we need to import and we need to import add here also in array HTTP client module and providers we need to pass the SQL at porter and SQL lite. Okay, so after doing this much uh, in app component ts file like uh, for I have defined the tabs like uh, which we are getting on the front end. So like I want just home and students only. So as you can see this one, this home and students uh, I have defined app component ts file. Okay, so after that. Uh, just uh, go inside the app routing module.ts file so here i have defined all the routing so on click on home uh, i will route to the home page on students i will click uh, i will go on the students page and whenever the student slash id will get call i will call my individual student page okay 
so this much we need to do and in database service i have to find the interface student in that uh, student id number then string string name as string class as string and mark as string it should be same as uh, our uh, this uh, table like we what we can say this columns uh, data types okay so like uh, that's why i have to find here number and st string 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 okay so come to the next part like uh, uh, this uh, variable we need to define behavior object and sql at object then after that uh, define all the uh, this platform and sql at portal sql light uh, and uh, http client as well and then we are gonna create uh, so we need now we are saying the platform whenever the platform is ready uh, we are going to create a sqlite create a database so db will be will get create and after that uh, we are calling the seed database function in that seed data function we are calling our student script dot sql file and we are executing it so whenever we will get execute uh, it will create the uh, student table in my student database and uh, it will insert this much of data as uh, like on the initial whenever it, it will get initialized okay so this much uh, like see database and then get the database state it will check the database is ready or not and then after that uh, get student it will load the it will uh, return the students as observable it will return the students array okay and then load student it will uh, load student function what it will do it will just update the array so it will update the array with the latest student data and then add student uh, will accept the three parameters student name student class and student marks and then it will insert into the uh, student ta students table okay and then we have the get student by id so here we are going to pass the id and we'll get the student uh, individual student data then up update student uh, we are going to update the student and then delete student we are going to delete the student by id so whenever i click on my the student tab it will call the student page which is the students page so let me show you first that yeah so whenever i click on the students it will load the students page so this is my front page on click on the students tab so what we have done in this page let me show you that students page dot html in that we have the toolbar then uh, we have the padding to accept uh, student records like uh, student student data dot name student data dot class student data dot marks so this is the these are the fields which we have defined and then we have we have the add student uh, function on click on the add student uh, button uh, we will call the add student title function and uh, of uh, below of that we have the list in that we are iterating the students record one by one and we are printing it here so that's why we are able to see these are the uh, list of the students uh, as uh, on the below of that uh, form okay so this is in this html and uh, then we have a student page.ts file where we are going to call we are going to call in the functional a function of the database so on uh, first whenever my uh, this uh, student page get call it will just hit the uh, uh, just hit the database and get the state if the state is ready then it will call the get student function and it will store the all the uh, updated student in the this dot students file uh, this dot student variable which is the array, array type of my student interface okay and whenever user click on the add button it will call this function uh, whenever user click on this add button it will call this function add student uh, details and it will just pass this data to my add student data function which is defined in the database and it will again uh, load the like it will uh, just uh, make empty this student data so that uh, we will 
get the blank student uh, this uh, like we will get this uh, field as the blank okay now so like uh, whenever a user click on the students like uh, here we have all the student list and uh, then we have defined the router link of uh, like uh, students and uh, then uh, like students dot stud id so it will uh, create a router link and it will uh, like student slash student id so in app routing module ts file we have defined like student slash id whenever it get called it will call the individual student then my page will redirect to student page and here we have the student uh, individual student html page so let me show you first that student page.ts where we have we are calling the get by id function so you need to define all this constructor and all and uh, after that uh, first we are setting the student as the null and uh, on ng on init we are calling function uh, like uh, uh, first we need to get the id so params uh, dot get we are getting the id from this and then uh, in student id we are getting the id and then we are calling the database function by passing the student id and uh, whatever the response is coming we are storing it into the this dot student okay and what we are doing in the update student so as i will get my individual student data on the front end so i will store this data in the student and i, I will show this data uh, student data to my front page so to show this data we need to use the same form uh, with uh, student dot name student dot class student dot marks and on uh, click on this button we are calling the update function update student function and above we have defined the delete also delete icon also so that we are we, we will get the call of delete so whenever user click on the update student data it will uh, call the function and it will uh, just take uh, the updated student data and it will uh, show this message like uh, it will uh, we are calling the database function update student and we are passing the student and then we are calling uh, we, we are printing this message on the front end like student data updated uh, student details updated successfully and then after that we are routing this uh, page to the students page and in delete also we are doing the same thing like we are calling the delete student function and in that we are passing the student id and uh, then we are routing this to uh, main uh, page so just check once again so whenever I click on the update it will show me this uh, notification like message and uh, for deleting also whenever i click on this icon it will delete the data and it will again route to the front page also as well and uh, just put one more record 12 550 so for adding also it will just update and it will iterate the data and it will show me in the list so i hope you understand this video like uh, you understand this sqlite functionality and you can also check the playlist uh, of this uh, entire video like uh, from one by one how to create and how to update and how to delete the student using SQLite database so you can check the playlist link also so if you have any doubt then please put in the comment section I will definitely reply on that and if you like if you like the video then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel friends thank you